<laughs> Welcome back, folks. In the, the background here, we have the recipe. If you do want to put it in your thing and pause and actually go ahead and put it in. Um, and if you are metric, you can switch in settings to Imperial and put it in as well. But today we're going to be talking about oversized bream, folks. Something I learned quite a bit about over this last week or so. And uh, so if you guys didn't know, there's unique bream at Weeping Willows, October River, Russia, Germany, and the Netherlands. I don't believe I'm missing any. But in all them locations... Uh, you can get oversized uh, bream, and in order to do so, all the locations are basically going to be the same, except for Weeping Willows, which we have a video out for that on the location for the unique bream. But when you're going for unique bream, there is pretty much two baits that work better than all the rest. Um, it does. It does seem to be. Caster maggots or peas, it depends on whether you're catching a lot of carp. So if you're catching a lot of little carp that you don't want, caster maggots will work better. And if you're catching a lot of small fish like roach or, um, you know, Prussian carps, then you're going to want to switch over to uh, peas. And it, like I said, if you are catching too many carp, go to caster maggots. That will help you out. Um, quite a bit. So at Germany, there's you have more issues out far uh, with carp. So I use caster maggots, and I will take you down and show you. But basically, all these places are going to be the same, like the canal, Germany, and Russia. You're basically just throwing out... Uh, bream are kind of interesting. They don't generally have just one spot. There's kind of an area... And where bream seem to be the best uh, at most of these lakes outside of Weeping Willows is just throwing out to the middle, wherever it may be. They seem to just like the deep part. And a number two or number four hook works really well for them. And what you're going to want to do is when you, wherever you are, I can show you this spot on the map if you want. Um, wherever you are, you're going to want to cast out and make your mix. Um, and for example, uh, bream seem to like right around 70 pounds. That's a pretty good average for all lakes. Uh, but bream, you could go ahead and uh, 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 make your mix over here. And then once you do, you want to equip it to your spot. And then you'll just cast your spot out to your spot. You're going to want to try to, wherever you're going to cast to is where you're going to want to put all that spot out, your spot mix out. Um, and generally what will happen is it'll take a few minutes. Once you get that done, you'll throw in and you can get, generally it'll be your first unique will be oversized, but not always. And sometimes you got to wait, catch a few. But for me, uh, having fished these pretty heavily over the last week or so, um, these, it seems like you only get one per spot. So once you do that, you want to move to another location for example, over there, or just out anywhere where you're going to catch a unique carp, and then go ahead and spot it and then come back. Um, you can actually catch more uniques in one spot, but they generally are not going to be oversized. I've never caught two oversized breams in one spot um, at the same time. I have, however, uh, came back to a spot, so uh, bream are interesting. If you come back with it after about one in-game hour at any location and you respawn you can catch another unique but i don't want to drag this video out so if you guys have any questions just ask down in the comments below and uh hopefully this helps you out guys we'll see you next time folks